Hi everybody, this is Jennifer with Choice Backgrounds um, and I am taking this time to put together a tutorial based on a question that I got via email this morning. Um, I just thought it was a great question and that the answer would help just a ton of people all at once. Uh, the question was pertaining to my elegant wedding template. Uh, this person uh, that wrote me was from Thailand and as you can see in the um, wedding template I kind of designed this first part in particular to be black with kind of silver. Uh, now here in the United States most um, formal weddings the groom is normally wearing a black tuxedo and in this case he's wearing a silver tie which is why I designed the first part of this video to be kind of black and silver going off of the tuxedo theme. Well in Thailand the color black is a big no-no when it comes to weddings which you know almost kind of makes sense. Um, so he wanted to know I really like it but I gotta change like all of the colors how can I change all of the colors for everything well you can do this uh, one of the things that I absolutely love about producer is that everything is customizable you don't like something change it so in this case let me show you how to change this uh, it's just a couple of steps and then I'm also going to show you how to easily t make those steps to change all of these slides instead of going through every slide one at a time and making those changes. So let me uh, come into this slide and show you exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about this black and white bubbles layer only. Let me turn everything else off above that um, except for the captions there. And if I play this back you'll see what we're really talking about are these white bubbles. Well when I made the video file the white bubbles are technically on black so the black is not something you can see through. Uh, so you don't just simply add a color layer you won't be able to see through it that video file is black and white so we're gonna take just a couple of steps to change this uh, now he mentioned that in Thailand you know pinks and reds and golds would work for um, weddings in Thailand so in this case we're gonna color this red uh, let me turn everything back on so you can see how everything works together uh, making sure that that layer is highlighted the one that I want to change from black to something else I'm going to hit colorize and change this to red and you'll notice the only thing that changes to red are the white bubbles. I haven't gotten rid of the black yet. See that? So this isn't that's that's the first step is I'm I'm telling it to change a color, but it's still black. So now in order to get rid of the black, still with this layer highlighted, I'm going to come up to my black point setting and I'm going to pull this slider up a bit until that black slowly becomes kind of white which means it can accept this colorize uh, setting because as black it's not going to accept any of this so I'm pulling that black closer to white his face looks like it's turning red and it's really not if you look over here <laughs> it's not um, so now when I play this back I just pulled it up to about 26 now when I play this back I have this really nice red background and it's not black anymore now of course his um, tuxedo is still back, black, but I can do this with any color. Now that I have my black point pulled up, let's say I want this to be gold. So I'm going to pull this over to, say, a nice gold color right there. Ta da! Now I've changed the entire background to gold. So those are the two very simple steps for taking this particular black uh, and white video file, colorize it any color you want, and then pull that black up so that it can accept your colorized changes. Now once you have this at a color that you like, you know, you could make note of say these settings right here, 229, 202, 80, and 26, write them down on a piece of paper, and uh, go to every single one of these um, layers and change them but you know that's kind of a pain in the patootie and we want to do it easier so uh, all we need to do is we need to copy a couple of settings over to a whole bunch of other layers and we can do that all at once so uh, I'm gonna just pick you could pick either the black point or colorize whatever one of these settings you want to copy right click and choose copy black point to other layers click on that and you have this um, copy settings dialog we've got our source layer which is layer number six we're good here okay now we uh, in this middle we are actually going to add some settings to copy we are copying the black point setting that one was already checked because that's where we came in at 
Now we're also going to enable the colorize and the color. These were not checked because we didn't come in through there. If we had come in through here, in other words, if we had right clicked on colorize and chose colorize to other layers and opened this up, this would have been checked and we would have had to have checked black point. So we have our source layer. We're going to, to uh, copy the black point and the colorize. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to choose only the layers on those slides that we want to copy them over. Now in order to do that, um, this particular black and white layer isn't the same layer number for every slide. So we're going to have to twirly down each one of the slides to see which one it is. In this one it's layer 3. Uh, and we're on slide 7, so when we get there we got to skip slide 7. Uh, slide 3 is black, so we're skipping that. Slide 4, oh, and I'm actually on my preview, so if you guys have this template, please don't listen to what I'm saying the slide numbers are, because that slide 2 is actually just my intro for the preview. So uh, you'll be twirling every all of these arrows down um, and looking for this black and white bubbles, uh, which again is going to be a different layer for every slide. So you're going to twirly down each one of these. It's going to be the very bottom layer for every slide. Skipping slide 7 come into 8 and it's just pretty much the bottom layer for each one of these slides. This almost looks tedious but to be quite honest this is so much easier than having to go through and change those settings for every single slide. Um, this is really just a much faster way to do it. Uh, let's stop at 15 and I'm just gonna hit copy and close and look at that Broop. Now all of my slides, instead of being black, now they're gold. Okay? Um, I do want to show you that the, this is very possible to do this for every single one of these. Um, that just ha happened to be the um, black settings that uh, he was concerned about. Um, let's say you wanted to change. I did have somebody ask about the, um, the, the rings because he was doing a, um, a video um, for a wedding and the people's wedding rings were actually silver. Um, again, kind of simple. Um, the, your alpha layers are black and white, so you're not going to touch those, but the one that says ring is your ring color. And if you just simply hit colorize, it turns it silver. Um, so if you want a silver ring instead of a gold one, uh, just make sure you hit colorize on the one that does not say alpha and now you've got a silver ring instead of a gold one. This back gold layer, um, let's say you want it to be, let's say her the bride's bouquet was um, full of roses and you want it to be red. Hit colorize and you can kind of turn it red. Again, the black and whites might cause you some issues. Uh, so not only are you going to play with the actual color wheel, uh, but you may need to bring either you know either the whites down, which brings it darker and much a much more richer red. Uh, the black point does the same. Of course, I've also got this pretty transparent as well, so I might bring the transparency up, which brings it makes it a much more richer red. But you can change the colors for almost any layer you want. Uh, if it doesn't look quite right, you can play around with it. Um, these over here, he asked me, basically he asked me if you could change the entire show and the answer is yes. Um, the flourishes in the very last part, the color of the flourishes is actually not part of the video file. As you can see the video files right here and it's simply a mask over this color. So if I want to change the color of my flourishes, I would just right click on that color edit layer, solid color options, and I can just change it. Let's make it a green flourish for no reason. Ta-da! Now we have a green flourish coming through there. Um, the background is just simply a textured background. It's just an image file. Again, you can colorize this anything you want. We'll make it red. Um, you can you can change just about anything in any template. I do recommend um, once you have made certain changes, for example, if you've changed the entire tuxedo lines to a nice gold, save that as a separate template or separate show file as gold tuxedo lines or red tuxedo lines. That way you don't have to go in and do all this all over again every time uh, you, know, you want to change a color. 
go through it once, save it as a separate one, and then you've got gold. Uh, so that's how easy it is to, to make uh, color changes throughout your entire show, uh, doing uh, making your changes in one slide. And then don't be afraid to come in to your copy settings. Again, and I, of course, I colorized a photograph and then came in. But once you're in through any setting at all, once you're in here, you have access to all of these um, settings that you can then copy to any slide, any layer of any slide in your entire show. And this is a much easier way uh, to really copy those settings throughout multiple slides instead of going through it um, one at a time. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that this um, helps you really make uh, the shows customizable to your photographs and really make uh, those uh, customers and clients and family members just absolutely go gaga over your shows. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.